This animation illustrates in situ thermal remediation of chlorinated volatile organic compounds in soil and dolomite bedrock using TRS electrical resistance heating. Four contaminant source areas partially below buildings were remediated in 2009. The results of one of the source areas are in this animation. The red mass represents the contaminant. The vertical black rods are the ERH electrodes that were co-located with recovery wells. The electrodes deliver energy into the subsurface and convey steam and vapors to the surface for treatment. The electrodes do not get any hotter than the surrounding soil. The days of operations and contaminant mass removed are in the upper left and right corners of the animation screen. Subsurface temperature increases slightly faster in the areas of highest contaminant concentrations. This is advantageous because these areas clean up quicker and can be turned off early following sample confirmation. The remaining energy is redirected into the areas until they are cleaned up also. This eliminates wasted energy and saves time and money. Average subsurface temperatures increased at a rate of 1.5 degrees Celsius per day during heat up and the maximum subsurface temperature reached was 114 degrees C. At the end of ERH, final contaminant concentrations were orders of magnitude lower than the guaranteed remedial goal. Confirmatory soil sampling included independent analysis of 204 soil samples collected from 71 sample locations. Over the six-month ERH operating period, 600 pounds of contaminant mass were recovered. The contaminant mass was reduced by 98.4%.